Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch. And this time on Gravity Sketch, we're gonna look at the Surface tool. The Surface is number four of our main tools, and it's for making curved planes, like a surface. So for example, just as a quick demonstration, you'll notice I'm using both hands, making this great long ribbon. Undo. So, two hands, each one does the outer edge. There are really two different ways to create these guys. So when you bring up your surface controller, the main one, both triggers need to be held. Both triggers then create the ribbon and how you move your hands is what creates the ribbon. For some people that gets a little too wobbly, hard to control. We can also do what's called point to point. Point to point is a series. Now I'm going to click both triggers. The difference being here, instead of drawing it out, as long as I keep my triggers down, I've got the other end of my ribbon. So let me undo these guys. So press both triggers and hold gives you the starting point. As long as you've got it held, I can keep moving this ending point around until I've got it right where I want it and then let go. So these pieces, these surfaces are drawn using both hands. Once you've got it in place for both types, when you thumb trigger to edit mode, it brings in our control points, that type of thing. Now with the point to point, I've really only got two ends to work with. So you can see I've only got circle control points on either end. There's gonna be three on each end, one on each outside point, and the third controls the curve. How much curve do you want between the two points? Now go to this side, stretch this side out. Oops, added an actual control point by accident. There we go. And play with its curve. So you can make a complicated surface even using those few control points. If you go to any point in here and click again, it will add another set of control points for you to work with. So now I've got end and middle and beginning. Now I'm gonna come over here and add another control point. And as you can see, you gotta keep track of which ones are in the middle, which ones are at the end, but now I have multiple ways of controlling the curves of this surface. Okay, and now my surface is this wonderful double curve. If you draw these by hand, let's put this guy up here for now. If you draw these by hand, free draw style, you can see you can do a lot of curves in that one stroke. Now when I grab this and edit, it puts in a lot of these control points. Each line is its own loop, meaning it's controlling several pieces at once. Now this is not in subdivide at this point in the game. It is still considered its own surface type. So each loop is made up of three pieces, one on each edge and a center point controlling how curvy it is. One on each edge and a curvy control point. So I can go back and reform any part of this surface and keep it that way. Wider whale tail, skinnier, whatever type of curving surface you want to apply. The whole surface is one piece. So if you change color or material, it's gonna change the whole piece at once. Now, once we've got these pieces, there are indeed a number of ways, let's grab this one, to edit these pieces. Once these pieces are in play, we're gonna have a bunch of modifiers. You can, if you want, turn it into a subdivided shape. 
By turning it into a subdivided shape, I can now do my usual thing of grabbing edges, grabbing control points, grabbing faces, and edit as a subdivide. Bear in mind, you cannot go back. Once you're a subdivided object, you can no longer convert it back to a standard surface. So make sure that's what you really want to do before you go ahead and convert that to a subdivide. Without going subdivide, we still have a lot of other editing tools. Just like many of our other pieces, these curves, these control points can be affected by weight. So thumbstick up and down will control how sharp, how much these control points will dominate and control that curve. If you make it go all the way to square, you can see how I've almost got a crease down the top of my curve. There's so much weight. If I reduce the weight, it flattens out the curve. So naturally, we've got a button to reset all those weights back to normal roundness. So weight on your control points will affect your curves. Likewise, we can simplify, reduce the number of control points if we want a smoother, simpler surface. We do have a few other options in our surface control as well. Low poly is a way to make it from smooth curve, almost subdivide, into sharp angles. Now each of these control points actually controls it as an angle rather than a curve. So these are going to be flat planes. Low poly is either on or off, curves or angles, one or the other. We also have two forms of loop in these surfaces. So you'll notice my surface is sort of flat as a rectangle. One way to loop it would be to curve it into a cylinder, have the two long edges wrap around. Another way would be to curve these two edges around. So I can loop this surface, and you'll notice I got two directions. One loop, now it's a long skinny tube. The other loop, now it's a rounder, flatter tube. Let's pull these control points out. Whoops. So we can try to open this curve a little bit more. So you can see how a loop, either loop, will turn your flat surface into a tube. If you activate both of them at once, you can do that. And now you can see it's sort of a self-contained object. It's trying to wrap around in both directions. No more loop. Back to a flat plane. Yes, loop is one thing you can turn on and off. Unlike subdivide, these are always options. Mirror, mirror as, every, as always, but this is one that I'm going to use to demonstrate snap. Snap is how we're going to combine control points. Here's what I'm going to do. I've got this lovely surface, and you can see how one end of it has this curve to it. I'm going to make, in a slightly different color, a different surface. And we're going to keep it a simple one. So you can see, I've got one curve and a second curve. What SNAP does, it allows me to connect points so that these two separate objects will merge together in a nice seam. So I'm going to want this edge to match that edge. So let's get them close together. I'm now going to edit my object. When I activate snap, watch the blue one. Now, if you look close, when I get close to the blue one, it adds those red control points to the blue one. See those? So if I grab my purple that I'm editing, I can have these control points touch. See how they jump together? This one to that one. That click, that snap. Now we'll grab the center point of this curve. 
snap it to the center point of that curve. Snap. Now my two curved surfaces are essentially joined. I'm now going to grab them both and group so that it's now considered one object. And if I edit, I've now got those control points. I can grab them both. Well, actually I'm manipulating the purple one now. Let's now grab the blue one and edit the blue one. So snap is what allows these control points to click together. They're not truly one object, but now those objects are connected. So I'm gonna grab this control point and pull it up like that, and then grab the purple one and have it snap to the same control point. So if you have multiple surfaces or any other object, snap allows you to connect those points together. So now it appears as if they were welded together. Snapping your control points. So these are surface tools. The final part of our surface tool, once you've got some surfaces in place, these two modifiers actually will let you uh, create your surface in relation to other surfaces. Let me get this one back here. So I've got my edge finder tools. So here is an existing surface. I'm gonna get my edge tools and now they are part of that surface. Let's come over here. And you can see how it's adding more pieces to the curves. This is one that's gonna take a lot of practice. You can see how it's building these control points. We'll be building models with these later so you can see a little more actual use of these guys, but these surfaces are gonna allow you to build up objects out of starting pieces, adding more pieces to them, manipulating, adding more complex surfaces to what you already have. I'm gonna actually turn off the snap here and without the snap, you can see how I can get close to the object and that's when it's gonna connect. It's got its own control points, but it's all based on the pieces you're working with. So our surface tool has a lot of ways of building them. Likewise, this tool here, I'm gonna to go to our normal one, and as you can see when I make it, you can see how curved it is. It's not a very deep curve, it's a fairly shallow curve. So from here, deepen that curve. So now when I make it, it starts as a much deeper curve. How do you want to describe the curve as you build it? Now we're going point to point, so we can actually build this with our pieces. So the surface tool, I don't want a whole entire shape, I want to make a line. Maybe it's the hood of a car or the wing of an airplane. Surface tools gives you both hands and a lot of control to control the curves and the way they show up. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. If you have questions about this or indeed any of the other tools, let me know in the comments below so that we can do episodes answering questions about the types of things you want to learn about. We do this all the time here at youtube.com slash shameless mayhem. Let us know if there are tools you want to use or controls you want more information about or just any kind of questions. You can also link to show off some of your creations. We like to see what you guys do. Hopefully this has been helpful. Stay tuned and see what we got coming next. Have fun, everybody. Enjoy Gravity Sketch.